putting them out on the other paddocks with the grass make them so happy. Oh, I bet. It's a great technique because they have to cross their feet over and is, you know, they're by their nature, they're designed to not have to think to go forward. So they are thinking about what I'm out when they're just going forward, but you have to get them to think about their feet. So good. I'm glad that that worked. Yeah, it was, it was really empowering. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's like, I actually know how to do this yeah. now. And for her to just be like, oh, oh. I guess I should behave. <laughs> My old tricks don't work anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, so we, uh, let's see. Let me get her rain cues down. And um, let me see if we can move on from there. Because I don't have my mounting block, but I can probably get her to step over to a fence. Let me... <laughs> Let me stand in the middle here and good girl. Remember this? This should go quickly if you remember it. So bring your head around without moving your feet. Yeah. Uh, did you soak on something good? Huh? Bring your head around without moving your feet. Good girl. Good girl. You're so smart. Bring your head around without, oh, no, no, don't move your feet. Good girl. Carry on, Remy. Go. Good girl. All right, ready? Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Good girl. Yeah. And I like that she, she started just bringing her nose around and then she straightened her head up because I really prefer that she brings me a square head as opposed to, oh. Close to her nose. Hey, hey, oh, hey! Honey, get out of here. Good, good girl. See, I took it before you got it. <laughs> Give it a little bit more. Good girl. Good girl. Uh, 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 uh. No added extra. No added extra. Good girl. Is that tickling you? Here, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Can I get it for you? Huh? Do I get it? Okay, ready? Give me a little bit more. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, I think you're kind of standing right in my way there, love. So, let's see what you know. Ready? Good girl. Alright, so, that's my emergency stop, and I'm going to make sure that I can do it forward and ask her to stop. So, I'm going to back her up here. Big girl, back. Tom, back. You're right. You're right. Back. Good girl. Oh, Remy. So step forward. Good. 
You're okay. Hey, 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 hey. You don't know what I'm asking you to do, so don't get all offended. Good girl. Good girl. Now, can you stop to that? Yeah, good. Yeah, I just want a little forward and then. Come here. You have to get all upset. So, what I noticed was when I tapped her in the side, she brought her body at me. So we got to be careful about what she thinks that means. Because she could be actually meaning to do right. You know, she could be thinking she's doing this. See? So we got to be real careful that we don't punish her for something that seems mean when it wasn't meant to be mean. Bring me your head. Bring me your head. Good girl. Good girl. Can we walk forward? Good. I know. Ouch. That's my foot. Good girl. You're right. Good girl. I know. I think you're trying to just do the right thing. And stop. Now, so you can't fight me. You can't fight me. See, this is where we have to learn not to fight. Give me a little more. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, I forgot you didn't like that. Good girl. I know what you do like. Huh? Okay, give me your head. Good girl. Now, you want to try to do your steps, so we'll go direct rain steps, so I want the front feet to come towards me. Yep, you're right. Good girl. So, don't move your feet. Good. Step your feet towards me. Good girl. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh-uh. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move your feet. Good. Step your feet towards me. Good girl. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. Yep. Step your feet towards me. Good girl. Don't move your feet. Step your feet towards me. Good girl. Don't move your feet. Ah, 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 ah. Good girl. Step your feet towards me. Good girl. So, now I'm going to ask for the hind, which was an indirect rein, so I'm going to ask for the hind legs to do something now. So first, again, don't move your feet, then I'm going to, as if I'm bringing the rein to my belly button, good, you're right, you're right, I know, a little lick and chew on that one, huh, yeah. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Good. Hind feet. Good girl. You're right. So I was slapping my own leg. I wasn't slapping her. So if you heard a slapping sound, it was not her. Good girl. Yes. Go on. They make learning hard, huh? <laughs> Go on, 20. Go on. I know, it's not for you. That's good. That's good. She's she's a little weak in that hind. Yeah. She seems like she's very weak in the behind, yeah. like the whole hind end, not just a leg. Okay. 
Yeah, good uh, butte regimen is three days on, three days off. She's on butte list. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they make oh my gosh, guys. They make school really hard. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. What do you know about over from there? Can you do over from there? Over? Yep. 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 Come on. You're right. I'm, not, I'm still way over here. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. You go all the way sideways? That's pretty cool. Come on. Good girl. body. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Bring all your body. Good girl. Bring your shoulder too. Yep. Good girl. Bring your hind end. Good girl. Oh, such a good girl. Okay. So, we're, let's see what, what else we can do. With. Ready? Wait. Wait. Right there. Can you go that way? Yep. Out. Out. Good girl. Good girl. So, I'm going to see if I can... Get her to spiral in, so I'm going to give her a little draw to come towards me. Good. Give her a little draw to come towards me. Give her a little draw, but stay going. Good. 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 Then I'm going to see if I can spiral her back out. 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 Good girl. Out. Good girl. Can you change directions? Good girl. Out. Out. Ah. Uh -uh. Yep. Good girl. And yield. Good girl. Good girl. You are so smart. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, ready? Go that way. Good girl. 
girl. Good girl. I like that she waited actually for the kiss because I only pointed and she did exactly what she should have done. Let's see if she knows the trot. Good girl. Girl, see if she can walk. 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 Good girl. Good girl. So she's got something going on with that gate. If you watch, she'll kind of bring herself closer to me and kind of like a, oh boy, something over there. So and their speed changes. So I'm just going to try to Okay, ask her to go look. So I'm just going to ask her to go put her nose on that gate. Good girl. Ask her to put her nose on the post that's holding the gate on this side. Might be the ducks. Good girl. Okay. See if I can bend her back. She's still got worry there. See if I get to put her nose on the gate again. Pay attention though. Yep, you're right. Good. Good girl. Let's see if I can get her nose on this other post here. The reason I'm doing this, I'm just trying to make something about here where she has a chance to listen to me, take direction from me, and I'll get an eye on whatever it is that she might be deciding is scary over here. So I'm kind of using it as a two-fold thing. I'm going to put her nose on this post over here that the gate's attached to. So, with her standing there, I'm going to gently ask her to take off, not take off, I'm going to ask her to move on now, and see if I can't get her confident enough to walk up against that gate. Out. Out. So I actually want to even get her squeezed up against that gate a little bit more. She's much more confident about passing it, but I just want to get her. You're right. So she still has a little bow away from it. And her offering to stop right here is kind of her way of saying, I still have a problem. Good. There. Good. So 
and I'm not going to like force the issue. I'm going to just take her away now and be like, all right, how about change directions? Out. There, she even was drawn to the gate. That's nice. So I'm going to actually release her. Hi, <laughs> girl. Good. So, what I could have done is I could have just noticed that she was having an issue. It would have gotten worse and gotten worse with each lap. By doing that, I gave her something to do that, that occupied her brain on a puzzle level and also gave her a chance to digest whatever the problem is over there. Then I tested it and... As you can see, she's fine with it now. Good girl. Back. 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 Okay. So I'm going to have you do... Um, I'm going to have you do the rain cues, even though the first time she's ever really going to experience the rain cues are going to be because of me. Because I'm going to want to make sure that I can stop her. Um, but I want to make sure that you have the same respect. And it'd be a good thing to practice the stopping one, like when you're just like hanging out with her, okay. um, which is just bringing her around to her or her girth area. Preferably not just her nose. This side, she'll bring around just her nose and kind of give the impression that if she had an opportunity, she might taste you. Okay. Um, the other side, she brings around her head square. That's what we're going to look for on both sides. But... Just so you know, that side she'll come around more nose and kind of tip like, mm, I might taste your leg. So just be aware of that. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stand at her wither, facing forward as if you were in the saddle, just obviously on the ground next to her. You're going to run your hand up the line with that hand. Yep. So you're going to run this hand up the line. Oh, okay. And then, so it's like you're shortening your reins. Good girl. And then you're going to bring her around to... Okay, your hand up. Nope. Not yet. Okay. Good. You can put your hand on her on her wither. It's just don't take this rein up there too. Okay. So like you can use it as for like to secure yourself in the right position. Okay. Um, so I would do that. So that way you just kind of feel part of her. Good. Okay. And then, Good girl. And then to release her rubber, let her know that that's all you were looking for. Good. Ask her for another one. Yep. Good. Good. Okay, so we'll do that type of turn, both sides. You guys got food and you didn't want it? Say, so this looks more interesting. So then, of course, it would be that hand, your outside hand. Yep, the hand that would have that rein in it. And then bring it around. Like I said, she's going to come around more, nose in, think about being nibbly. Good. She hasn't offered to part her lips, but, you know, just... The way she comes around, she suggests. Okay. Ask her for another one. Yes. Okay. So it's like a warning. Okay. Yeah, see. <laughs> she didn't part her lips before, so just she might just be trying to escalate on that. Okay, go ahead and do another one. Good? Good. So we're going to go the other side again, and then we're going to do the direct rein, which is steering. It's for the front legs. So same thing. You're going to bring her around, which means nothing. Yep. And now you're going to do it in a very exaggerated way so that she can learn it. And you're going to take, now you're going to take the rein in, in your outside hand, and you're going to just literally point that way, and then be ready to step with her away. So you're going to point... Like, like as if you were in the saddle and you were steering her that way. So you, you go, yep, bring her around, and then point that way, yep. And then be ready to step out of her way when you see her body start to flex and that she's going to come. Preferably, this would be on this side there. Yep, good. Good girl. Ooh, that felt good. She's got a bug bite right there. She... Oh, yes. Scratch that right there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do another one. Good. And then out to your side. So we're asking the front legs to do something. Don't do anything else as far as you're just going to wait on her so she can kind of learn that pressure. 
and just be prepared to step out of the way. If you if she hangs out there too long, then you can kind of step and encourage her to step with you. Like now she'll step. Good. Good girl. I like that she really overachieves with the way she crosses her legs. She does great leg crosses. Okay, do another one. <laughs> So if she's moving, just stay with her until she stops moving. And then when she's done moving, you can do one of two things. You can either do the direct rein or you can say it. Sometimes when they start moving their feet, you have to remind them that this particular one means don't move your feet. But if you then moved into the move your feet, she may get that. She'll grow a gray area in there. So if she moves her feet, just stay with her and, and stay with her till she stops moving her feet. And when she stays like that, I'd let her go now. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you always have that relaxed where she's not bouncing on the line or anything like that. You want to make sure that when like she's staying bent. Um, so that way she, she learns that it's a relaxed thing, not a stressful bounce my head, bounce my head until I get some kind of other answer. Now the hindquarter one, she's a little more offended doing the hindquarter ones because she tries to think she's a dominant girl, even though we know that she's really not. Um, but she's going to probably test you because you guys have had that I'm not sure who's boss relationship. Um, so now this one is you bring her around. Again, we're going to start on the other side because this is the side that she likes to get feisty on. But you're going to bring her around, same thing. This means nothing. Don't move your feet. If she moves her feet, wait on her then maybe just release her and say, that's all I wanted. Um, if she doesn't move her feet, just give kind of like a one, two, pause, and then you're going to take the rein. Instead of coming out here with it, you're going to take it up to her with her. Okay. And then you're going to wait on her. And if she doesn't move, oops, sorry. If she doesn't move, then what I was doing was I was slapping my leg, and that was enough energy. Just the noise of me slapping my leg. I didn't have to slap her. Yeah. And now let her kind of feel that pressure. And then if just count to like two or three and then start slapping your legs so she knows something means something. And then don't let her get her head back. Cause she, good. Good girl. Yeah, yep, yep. Because we got the movement we were looking for. So you would hold her head there until you get the legs that you want to do. And then you can let go. Um, that was actually really nice. She did that pretty respectfully, too. Yep. Yep. Good. Good girl. What? I accidentally whacked her leg with the end of it. Oh. Go 
Go see what she's doing. Yep. Yep. Now, this is the side that she's a little more sensitive about. So, just, you know, kind of give her a little, maybe count to three for sure. Or even give her till four before you start making any kind of energy. Yep. Yep. Well, she's just trying to sort it out. Good. So that one was more like a step away. It wasn't a crossover. So we do want her to understand it's about crossing over her feet. So don't release till you actually get the crossover. But it was good for me to see anyway how responsive or reactive she was going to be. And so I think she's all right with you doing it on that side of her. Yep, good. Hang on to her. There you go. So, how would you read all that right there? Nope. She got very, very unconfident. So if you saw, you had to take a step back to even be remotely on that side of her. Yeah. If you saw, she completely got herself turned around and blocked you from being able to be on that side of her. And that was all because of she just became unconfident about it because okay. she thought she did it right twice. Okay. And yet you didn't let go, which is right. You shouldn't have because we were looking for something more specific. So because she thought she was getting it right, she got worried that there wasn't, you know, she, okay. she thought she was doing a good job. <laughs> So that's all lack of confidence there. But that's okay. Get in there and just rub her on that side. So that way while you're there, you bring back the confidence of you being there. Good. She'll probably do it much quicker this time just because she got so worried. Good. And there. Good girl. Yep. Good. <laughs> okay, she's kind of in the mud now. She's like, my brain, my brain. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so now see if you can do just... You do just don't move your feet. Because we want to end on that also. Oh, okay. You know, so that way when she feels the rain, it doesn't mean anything to do with her feet. Yep. Good girl. And be careful. When you brought it around, you brought it around kind of hang like with an upward feel. Oh, okay. So you want to make sure that this one, when, when we're in an in a emergency situation with our horses, we never want to pull it up because we can flip them over. So you always want to get in the habit of, oh, don't move your feet is down by my knee. Um, I call it save your hiney. I used to say save your ass, but I started working with kids. <laughs> so, you know, if you're riding along and you're, you're in trouble, you just reach around and, and literally wrap it around your butt as opposed to pulling it up. Good. <laughs> yep, just stay with her. Good. Good girl. 
And then what you can do is you can build on how long you hold her head there, okay. you know, because it's, it's really good for her neck muscles to be flexed like that, and it's also really good for her to be supple. Um, and then to where when you touch the range, she should be able to just swing around like she does the other side, but the other side's with a different intention than obedience. Um, this side, she's starting to get a little bit faster about it and with, you know, with obedience as opposed to, I might want to bite you, you know. Yeah. Um, all this yawning is because we just mess with her brain so much. <laughs> Yeah, because if she had followed you, she didn't do anything wrong. Good? <laughs> Good? Yep, yep. And be, I'm glad that you did it that way because... She already offered it to you, and then what you said is, can I have a little more? So if she does offer it to you because she's just guessing what you want, then just say, can I have a little more, and then just hold her until she just gives a tiny bit more. That way you're getting the response you're looking for, and she's not wrong for having tried. How's she about her feet and stuff? Is she good about having her feet handled? Yeah, she's good. Good. Yep, yep. Good girl. And that's the side that she swings around on, so that's good. She's behaving. And she started, I don't know if you noticed that last time, she actually started where her pole was straight. So ideally what we want is her whole head to turn, not just her nose. So if she could do that and come all the way from like that, that's what we we're actually looking for. But like to get her the message is all we need right now. Okay. She's almost got it on the other side. Okay. Um, I didn't bring my mounting block, so it, it makes the, the next logical step difficult. Let me, um, I remember that thing. <laughs> remember this thing? Huh? Yeah. So I like all horses to ground tie when I um, saddle them. So she shouldn't move her feet. Good girl. Good girl. See, she kind of proves, like, the whole point of two points she proves is if the exercises are good and fully explained, they just kind of do it like they've been doing it forever. Um, the other thing she's proving is that no practice is better than bad practice. So even though you haven't had a chance, <laughs> even though you haven't had a chance to, I shouldn't do that. Even though you haven't had a chance to practice with her, she's showing us that it's okay because the, the lessons that I've had have been solid enough that I can soak on them for a long time. So this is actually kind of not fair. She's got quite a bit of grunge under here, so we gotta can't can't ask them to enjoy something and deliberately make it uncomfortable. Oh, that's okay. I had another horse we did a saddling exercise with yesterday and. She was clean until she went in the arena and rolled before we could get started. That's all right. I got muddy horses. How do you avoid it in this time of year? 
Nope, nope, this is, this is about an itch. Oh, no, I mean in general. Yeah, if you, if you'll just wiggle her to a stop or I'll grab a hold of her. Ah, so I'm, all I'm doing is telling her to, to not nibble on me. Or my saddle pad. That was about a bug. That was about a bug. I don't, I, I don't know why I keep doing that. It's like I would yell at somebody for that. Good girl. Good girl, you're okay. That didn't hurt you. So, you know, you want to pay attention to... There is a bug on her back leg here, so if that comes up suddenly, it's not about me. Um, but you want to pay attention to, you know, what her ears are telling you. She did come around like, oh, I don't think I like that. Um, good girl. Good girl. Yes, the bugs are starting to bite your legs. I see them. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to have you do, she shouldn't bounce around because we've already done this. But I'm going to have you do some of her circling stuff um, and just be ready to kind of shove her out away from you if she does bounce around okay. okay or spin her around real quick and then be ready to make sure she doesn't come in on you so let's just say she you send her out there and all of a sudden she gets to you know walk in a little bit and says oh something squeezed me around the belly and she gets to bucking you can hind yield her and to avoid her coming in bucking at you be ready to keep her away from you Okay. And if she starts like trotting, do I slow her down? Or do I no, we're going to let her just feel. Okay. Cause we did this, what, twice now? Or once? With the bareback pad. Once. Because yeah. the next time I didn't bring it and I brought the mounting block. So yeah. one of these days I'll bring everything I need. <laughs> send, her, send her in the direction that she's good at. So I would send her towards me. Good. Good girl. So that was a little bit of a drive by. Slightly, slightly out of confusion and slightly out of I have something on me and I'm mad at you about it kind of thing. Like she's sort of doing a little bit of a drive by right there again. She, she wasn't close enough to you, but did you see the ribs and they came towards you? even there. So just like pay attention to like, she'll probably do it again right in here. And what that just kind of tells you is that if she's going to have a problem, she's planning on making it your fault. Good girl. So go ahead and hind yield her. So you're going to bump her towards your belly button. Good, good, good. So actually, that's not something that I had taught you already. So I'm gonna mess you all up and teach you something new. Okay, cool. When you're gonna when you're gonna ask her to hind yield, say she's coming around this way. So this is the line. This is this is the hand that you're gonna have the line in. Back. Yep. Back. Oh, she's trying to do sideways. Back. 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 Yep. Yep. Because even though she's trying to be good, like, she doesn't know, she's acting like she doesn't know what you want. So she's trying to do the one thing she knows we like, so that's why she's doing this. <laughs> You're a good girl, but you need to back up. Good girl, good girl, good. And then, you're going to want to make sure... She's told that she did the right thing because she was trying something she thought she was doing. So you never want to make her wrong for making an effort. You just want to say, no, 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 that's not it. Listen, listen, you know. Um, so when she's coming around and, okay, she's going that way. So when she's coming around, this is the hand that you would have. Your left hand would be the hand that has the rope. When you're ready to do the hind yield, you're going to bump the line towards your belly button. Okay. Just get real little, you know, like a tap on the shoulder, excuse me, okay. so that way you give her some warning, and then you're going to step for the hind yield. Okay. So that's the only thing, instead of a big wiggle, we're just going to give her a bump back towards us, okay. so we can, basically what we're going to try to do is just encourage her nose to kind of check in with us. Okay. Good girl.
I know, I know, I know. You're being so good. Yes, you are. Okay. Since she wants to, go ahead and ask her to trot. Good. Good. When she passes the fence where she has freedom to do it, go ahead and hind yield her. That's okay. I gave you short notice on that. She did good. Okay. But she more wrapped around instead of spun out and stayed in one spot. Okay. And it's harder at the trot, but she can do it.